Look, personally, you know, it was the same with the, with the US. I think it was a, a waste of time. You know, the first one was fine, get us through, but after that, the reality is you're better off focusing on structural reform and uh, government policy. And I think the reason the uh, QE has been so extreme is because the government's and the structural reform has been lagging. Um, but in the end, you know, really what's happening with a lot of this liquidity is just sitting on bank balance sheets doing nothing. Um, you've got to break the psychology. So, yeah, I think um, some will argue that it was an important part of you know, helping that psychology, but I reckon the markets are way ahead of it anyway. They're more you know, uh, focused on whether the structural reform will generally come. So I think it was a bit of a waste, to be honest. And to be you know, I think my comments previously on the US is from the fact if you'd, if you'd stopped doing that, the markets, I think, would actually be better off because what happens, as long as they still think the government needs to get involved, or the, you know, the, the monetary authorities need to get involved, oh, well, gee, maybe it's not so strong, yeah, maybe there's a few problems out there we have to... And so it actually creates the environment of conservatism, whereas if they just get out of the way, business will get on with investing. To be honest, the real big issue that we're, we're trying to come to grips with is with all this QE, you've seen interest rates in some European markets go negative. I think Nestle sold some bonds the other day for a negative interest rate, which is just, it just doesn't make sense. Now, if you think about that, if you're not getting paid for owning debt, equities look pretty good with their dividend yields of 3 or 4%, and they've got a bit of growth over time. But we all believe that interest rates are distorted, so we're just trying to work out you know, what the right differential is between equities and bonds. Um, and that's actually requiring a bit of um, kind of mental thought process. Um, it's a hard one to work out, um, but my instincts are that you know, even in a low growth environment, if you can just find a business that can slowly grow their normal earnings, it's actually quite valuable. So that's why I say be patient, let it play out. I still think we're in the sort of middle part of the game. Yeah, we're obviously not as depressed as we were in 2009. Valuations have recovered fully, they're at decent levels. But I still think we've probably got a three, five year period of, of earnings growth. Now, having said that, people have to get their expectations right because if you're willing to accept zero on a European bond and even two and a half on an Australian bond, a six, seven percent return from equities, that's actually pretty good. In fact, it's very good. So, yeah. if you've got your expectations right and you're happy with a six or seven or eight percent return, potentially, then equities are worth a look at, I think.